My name is Nicole Bowling, and I come to you today to basically help myself in a fight for my life and to simply ask those that are willing to help me fight for my life as well. And by saying that, I mean that in this video, I will uh, provide some contact informations, uh, information so that um, people can reach out and advocate for me. Um, there are strength in numbers. I do not want to go down without a fight. Um, if you haven't seen my previous videos, I have had cancer twice in my lifetime, once when I was 25, stage 3C uterine, underwent many surgeries, chemos, radiation, another cancer when I was 32, um, which was vaginal cancer, to which I underwent chemos, radiation, and many surgeries. Over the years, it led to many failed colostomies, many problems. Up to this date, uh, well, the first cancer, I was given a 10% chance to survive a year. It's been a little over 20 years, and I'm still here for a reason. However, I had a surgery November 8th to remove the, the remaining um, large intestines because they were basically non-functioning due to the damage from the radiation, and my colorectal surgeon thought it best to take them out and create an ileostomy. I am now left with a little over three feet of small intestines. And um, since the surgery on November 8th, anything I eat or drink passes directly through. I'm not talking bits and pieces. I'm not talking, you know, I, I'm, I'm saying like my husband puts it like on Pirates of the Caribbean when the dead people are drinking their, their whiskey and it's pouring out of their abdomen. Basically, that's what's pouring into my bag. I lose roughly 7,000 to 8,000 milliliters of fluids a day um, through my ostomy bag, and I am not able to retain hydration or nutrition on my own. Um, I was placed on TPN, which is artificial intravenous nutrition plus hydration. Um, my liver count started acting up. Um, I was in and out of the hospital due to them having to discontinue the TPN based upon the damage that it was that it was causing. TPN is not intended for long-term use due to that reason. However, due to my circumstances, I that is the only nutrition I am able to receive. I am not able to receive tubal feedings due to the fact that it has to bypass my digestive system because it cannot be absorbed so um, the game plan was well I ended up in the hospital a uh, little over I guess we'll go in on a little over a week ago two weeks ago and was referred to hospice to which we had hospice come out um, directed by the hospital to come out and speak with me and my husband to which I accepted I am for once getting the meds that I need to help control the many symptoms that I'm left with due to the damage from having had all the treatments from the cancers. They're being provided in compounded formulas that I am actually absorbing and that are, abs are actually very useful. However, because I chose hospice, uh, we actually um, put part in that. Um, so where I was at, I can't even quite remember. Um, the situation now is that because I chose hospice um, due to my progn prognosis is poor, there is no cure for the condition I am experiencing. We have tried many things that have ultimately failed. Um, there is no way to force my body to hold on to hydration and nutrition naturally. So the point we're at now is because I chose hospice, I was refused um, my basic necessities of daily hydration and um, temporary um, intermittent intravenous TPN that was being provided through a specialty pharmacy. Um, deeming that hospice because hospice takes care of that. However, I am not your ordinary case. Um, hospice, like I said, provides tubal feedings. 
I do not qualify for that. However, so basically, in essence, I'm being told I will starve to death and basically dehydrate to death. Um, my husband actually looked it up a couple of days ago on the internet of how long somebody can survive without hydration and nutrition. And um, it's roughly 47 days. And that just depends on the person. Um, it's been about three weeks without TPN and nutrition on a, a, a daily constant basis. And my body is declining. I am tired. Um, my legs hurt. I am basically in a fight for my life. I spent all day yesterday calling places, advocacies, and advocating on behalf of myself. Because in my opinion, this is um, cruel and unusual punishment. I contacted Fox 5 News of Fort Worth, Texas, um, to which you can look them up. They even have an app to where you can reach out to them. And I urge and I ask all those watching this that are willing to and that uh, find it in their heart to do so to please um, advocate for me because I don't think that just because I was put on hospice to be comfortable and I was given a poor prognosis to which there is no cure and being that TPN and hydration are not curative, they are, they are comfort measures to me. They're not curative. So to be denied those basic necessities based upon insurance is actually quite sickening I feel, and I, I spoke with insurance along with my husband yesterday, and I let them know that. And I also let them know I am not going down without a fight. So if you have it in your hearts to contact anybody and everybody necessary that you can, share this video as much as you'd like. Um, I, I am not going to, like I said, give up without a fight. It's basic rights to have those things those things like I said they are not curative and to have somebody literally starve and dehydrate to death um, when the situation that they already have is has a poor prognosis aside from that is cruel and unusual punishment and if this doesn't help me but eventually help somebody else in the long run that may may just happen to have a case similar to mine, um, so be it. So I will include um, information in the description of this video as far as paying for stuff outright, the TPN and hydration, being that it is going to be needed daily for the rest of my life, especially the hydration. TPN would be periodically because it is not intended for long-term use. Um, we do not have the financial means to cover it. Um, and I'm not asking for money. I'm asking for a very terrible situa situation uh, to be rectified and for somebody to have a heart and instead of waiting for people to die and writing them off as just another number to at least um, provide somebody with the simple basic necessities of hydration and I need IV, IV nutrition. Um, so my plea is that if you have it in your heart to share this with anybody that you know that may help or um, just get the word out, I would sincerely appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you.